What's going on is Ryan here and today I'm going to show you how to build a fort. Now before I get started I just want to mention be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Now let's get on to the video. I'm kind of glad I got that on camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's get started by talking about the things you'll need. First, you're gonna need some sheets. And right now I have a full and a queen size. And if your parents are helping you, you can ask them about different sizes and if you can use a king or even a twin. Next up are binder clips. And depending on how thick your blankets and sheets are, you might need small, medium, or even large. And for rubber bands, try to get the larger, thicker ones uh, because the thinner ones break really easy. I don't have a long rope and it's actually pretty thin, but you don't need a super thick rope either. Depending on how much of the rope you're going to need, you might need multiple ropes or a really, really long rope. Now you might need a broom handle or a large stick and I'm actually using a mop handle and I can make it smaller or larger depending on how and where I want to use it. But mine is actually broken, so it can only go so big. Now for Christmas lights, these ones don't work, but I just grabbed them because I wanted to show you how you can use them in the build. And also these are incandescent bulbs, which do get hot, but they should not get hot enough to catch anything on fire. And a good rule of thumb is to turn them off after a few hours and don't leave them on all night long. And finally, you might need some tape, but you can also use heavy or large objects like books. The first thing you want to do is you want to figure out where your fort is going to be. And this actually will tell you what supplies you will need. It could be in your bedroom, the living room, or even in the dining room. You just have to ask your parents first. You want to look for an area that you can easily secure the sheets down to, like a dresser or a bed, even a table or a couch. Next, get some pillows, blankets, and anything else that's comfortable. You want to lay it all out on the floor first where the fort's going to be, and you want to do it now because it'll be a lot harder later. Now finally, you set it up. You might want to use the lights, or if you're going to use rope, use that first uh, so you can put the sheets on top of it. And you don't even have to use rope or even lights if, if your situation doesn't need them. But in my case, I'm putting up the Christmas lights first. And then I was at first going to put my sheet up, but then I realized I'm gonna actually need another part in the middle to brace the sheet so it doesn't dip down as much. And I was gonna use the rope for that. And now you can actually tuck the sheet underneath the mattress or in between the mattress and the bed frame. I'm actually going to use some binder clips to attach the sheet to the bed frame and I'll show you that later. And you can't tell it in the shot because it's out of frame. Uh, so sorry about that, but I'm actually going to get some tape and tape the sheet down to the top of my dresser instead of putting heavy objects on it. And right here, you can see an example on how to use the binder clips or even clothing pins. And I'm just attaching the sheet to the Christmas lights using the small binder clips. And like I just mentioned a little bit ago, I'm using the really large binder clip to clip the sheet to my bed frame. And actually this worked wonders. And this part of the sheet would not stay up on the Christmas lights, so I just used another binder clip for that. Then I just flung the other sheet over and fixed it up a little bit. And right now I'm actually going to get my mop handle. And you can see I'm using a rubber band to secure the top of the mop handle to the sheet so it doesn't fall over. All right, there you go. Now you can enjoy your fort. And on the inside, you can put whatever you want in it, a bunch of different things like junk food and drinks, but just make sure you ask your parents first. And it actually seems like my cat Eugene really likes it in here. This is another setup for the bedroom using the side of the bed, my nightstand and my dresser. And actually this wall has a vent for the AC right here and I can use my fan too if I wanted to. I'll actually show you some other examples real quick for you to use as inspiration. For this setup, I use the couch and the TV, but if you're gonna use the TV, make sure you don't tug on the sheets too much because the TV can fall over, or you can even put the TV on the ground in front of you. And the last setup is using the dinner table and some chairs. This one is quick and dirty since you can be underneath the table and you can use the sheets as walls. 
Now, your dining room table might have four legs instead of this one middle one, which will give you a lot more room. So, that'll be it. And if you have any tips and tricks other than the ones I said in the video, let me know in the comments below so other people can use those too. And let me know if any of the tips and tricks that I had mentioned in the video helped you out in building your own fort. Now, if you liked the video, be sure to smack the like button as hard as you can. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me a lot. And I'll see you guys all next time. Brrrr.